just going to be streaming at 480. Okay. Oh well. This is all our internet can support for the minute. Uh, anyway, welcome to FSX. I am Steven, tuba player. And uh, today we're going to be flying the A2A 182. Uh, this is a beautiful aircraft made by the company A2A Simulations. They um, they do a really good job at modeling all the textures and flight performances of all the aircraft, and uh, they it's overall it's just an amazing experience. If you're looking for a realistic experience, A2A aircraft is the way to go. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up. You have a maintenance hangar and everything in here too. Swap propellers if you want to. You have nose fairings. I'm going to add this because it makes the aircraft a little bit faster. Well, a lot faster. But you can open up the engine and all that kind of good stuff too. Uh, go ahead and do this here. I want these and I want this with the additive. Because I don't, in case I don't fly it all that often. Okie dokie. So. Another cool thing with the A2A aircraft is you have all these extra things here. You know, all your fuel and everything, baggage A, B, and C for all your stuff. But today we're just going to do this. We'll say I have mystically gotten a girlfriend. And uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll add my weight in here. Something like that. And let's be honest, I'm not going to be that lucky. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and do this here, and we will start our checklist. Alrighty, lean on ground, da 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 da. Upon entering your plane weight balance check, parking brake is set, control wheel lock removed, yup. Uh, User was moved out of your channel. <laughs> ignition and avionautics. Off, master switch on, alternator on, because it comes out at the same time. Check fuel quantity. Oh, you're in the green here. Uh, come down, static pressure, source alternate, that's off. Uh, test the panel here. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? Let's go up. Okay, there we go. And uh, fuel selector valve set to both. We're going to go ahead and open the call flaps to open. Flaps extend. Uh, master switch off. I'm just at the elevator trim right now. Flaps to drop, and we'll be ready to go. Alrighty, flaps are down, and master off. So now we got to do the walk around. So we start here. Left wing. Let's pull this up. So now you can inspect all of the insides of the wings, all of the joints as you run along, and you can check and make sure they're secure. We'll go out to the end here, do a quick look to see, and I'll just speed through this here because we really don't need to. That's the little flap there, the stall flap. I'll just kind of da da da. That's already removed because I didn't do both of them in the dark. Good. Static port. Da, 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 da. We'll just skip over here. That's good. Anyway, you get the gist. I pretty much did all this before the stream started. Do this part. We'll lock the door. And we'll go ahead. That's already off. And we'll just go ahead and get in here. Okay. Now that we're inside, let's start warming this thing up. Engine starting. Want the throttle cracked. So I want that there. Uh, mixture out. And prop in. There we go. 
health labs open. Skip. No. Okay, so field pump on. stuff yet. Crap, I didn't even... Okay, that was my bad. Here, I still got a prime Two, three. Okay. Let's go ahead. Leave that there. Crank over. I forgot something here. Clear prop. Put the mixture up here to rich. I'll be right back. I grab something that's right. Yeah, sure, go ahead. You're gonna be on for a while or no? Yep. Alright, I'll be right back. I'll grab something that's right. Alright, see ya. So, now that we're just kind of sitting here waiting for this thing to warm right on up, we'll uh, get a move on here pretty soon. get up here to the point where I know I'm just not going to blow it up when I go to do a run-up, then uh, I'll happily wait to see it going. I know this is going to be up here already, so. Right around there.
that's actually a no-no right there. You should not do that, but I'm just trying to get some heat in the engine as fast as I can. So while we're warming up here, we'll start, I, we'll start uh, doing a slow taxi over to the runway.
checklist over here on the side of the screen. Delta Mike, take off runway zero two, uh, stay in left traffic for five one six Delta Mike, Kahalui traffic. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, everything's set. He, uh, bring the engines up here and heels to the floor. Just in case people were wondering, I already did get the A's and all that kind of stuff too. I am kind of doing this semi-professionally. All right, 60 knots. I'm gonna pull, apply gentle pressure on the stick here and lift off. All right. Is it 60 and a 182? Uh, 60 and a 182. Yeah, you can take off as with as little as 50. But you can, it's pretty much generically you can get decent ground effect at 60 in my opinion. Okay, I've only flown a 172, so. I mean, why why sit right on the stall buffer? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. If you got the runway, give yourself the speed. So I'm actually going to start controlling my uh, my uh, my climb based off of my speed. I'm just going to kind of find the butter zone for the throttle here, and that'll be what we do. I'm going to sit in between 500 and 600, probably. That's what I'm going to aim for. 
516 Delta Mike Kahului traffic, uh, past midfield for 516 Delta Mike Kahului traffic. Yeah, I'd say 500 is a good area to sit around. It's not that bad. Drop frames detected. Your stream quality may be affected. Uh, I drop my frames pretty regularly currently while I'm streaming on FSX. It's funny, I get better frames on Battlefield than I do on FSX when I record. Anyway, oh, uh, 516 Delta Mike Kahului traffic turning left base to final for runway 02, full stop. Correction, Kahului traffic 516 Delta Mike will be touch and go for runway 02. back here. I'm going to give it a little bit of flat, not much, and a little bit of nose up. lined up for the runway. Normally it does not work out all that well and we are quite high. So as uh, Nick from Friendly Skies YouTube channel, great guy, you should go check him out. Uh, anyway, as he always says, there is no right or wrong way to do an approach. Well, I mean there is, but uh, as he says, the only dangerous approach is a low energy approach. You either have lots of energy stored up because you're flying high or you have a high speed approach at lower altitude, so you have energy stored up that way. I tend to do a mix of both, which is not good. So we'll see how this goes here. I'll keep it slow and then I can drop it in, see if that works for me this time. find the glide slope here. I've got the engine a little bit cut back on the lean side just to, you know, if I need to I can push it all the way in, but I don't know. I never really experience a power loss when I have it just a little bit pulled out. And I'm going to aim for 60 knots. I know I'm not doing this 100% by the book. I mean, it's relatively close, but you know. I like to land at 60 knots with one notch of flaps. And there's a glide slope. Now we can start doing our thing. I'm going to try to get it back a little bit more to the right of the runway. Slide it in here. Oops. some wind. Okay, quite slow. Slow it down a little bit more, more nose up. User joined your channel. Hey. Hey Brandon, how you doing? Go on bed. <laughs> sucks.
just not going to announce I'm the only one in the server now. I thought it was off though. In two weeks. I wouldn't know. Uh, anyway. Man, this is really gusty up here. You know, look at this. See? Yellowstone loads in good. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, let me guess, the other one still doesn't. I didn't try it again. I didn't install all of it because I even though Brent and I remember him telling me that you had to install Yellowstone first because I had had something in there with the registry I was trying I was trying to land over here at um at Kahalui and I was coming in on my approach for zero two, which is the runway I took off on and, and the ATIS said that was the active originally. I mean I probably should I was just doing traffic patterns, I didn't think it would be a huge issue. Well I went to go ahead and um come in here and land and man I came right up on the ground and got pushed around by a wind shear. Not to mention my airspeed was a little low, so that didn't help at all. As soon as that wind shear hit, man, it was all over. Just powered yeah. back up. What are you flying? The 182. Oh. Maybe I'll join you. You're in uh, where? Kahului. Lulu? Yep. Oh, Kahului. Pihog. Yes, sir. try this out one more time. I think I'm going to come in with a low with a bit more speed. User was moved out of your channel. So, uh, now we're coming in. We got the glide slope. We're just going to kind of squeak this thing on in here. Should be nice and easy. Come in a little low with some higher airspeed and see what happens. The last approach did not go well at all. And hey, if you're watching this, uh, I'm sorry about the lower quality. My internet currently can't support it, I guess. Must be a lot of people on tonight. And there you go. See you later. Alrighty, man, there is the wind shear again. Right low on the ground. Come in here. Right over the numbers. I'm going to pull the power all the way back and nose it up.
just like that. Yeah, it's loading right now. Alright. Sorry about that, I was just checking. Oh, you're fine. Did you take off? No, I'm still over here on the ground. I'm just, uh, I landed and taxied around. Yeah, you can take off if you want. Why are you? I haven't, I haven't flown this in a while. I just have to do like a quick overview again. Alrighty, are you spawning in the parking lot or somewhere else? Yeah, right on the... No. Oh, what's the first gate there? Oh, you're gonna spawn at the first gate. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're at the other end of the airport. Well yeah, I, I thought you were gonna spawn in the parking, so I taxied all the way over here. Oh! Sorry. Hi. Right. Where are you gonna depart? Uh, zero two. Yeah, I'm just gonna take off at zero two. You want to do a flight or do you want to uh, traffic? I mean, uh, pattern. Nah, pattern's getting boring for me. You can fly around, find an airport to land at. There's uh, isn't there another airport on the other side of this island? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, rather than choose any particular airport to go to, just find them and land there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Right, let me get my GPS set uh, here. Yeah, the one on the other side of the island, if I remember right, it's that one that you come right over the trees, you know? Like, you, just, you gotta skim the trees and get down oh, in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know the ICA, no, but... I got it, if you want it. Hey, um... Do you use the GNS 400? Yeah. Okay, that's the better one, right? Yeah, that's the one that's built in. It, you, it'll hook right into your uh, autopilot system. Yeah, the 295 is like, yeah. Yeah, the uh, truth be told, my grandfather, they just went and had their uh, Conquest 2 refitted with a GTN 625. Really, really nice autopilot system and it built into it, you know? Nice yeah, GPS. Ace, that. Ace has the 750, I think. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, they th think they just came out with the new one. And I guess he just missed the date by a month in order to get a free one. <laughs> so he has to pay like $20 for the upgrade. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the. Uh, yeah, he says that's not too bad. The. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they just got it refitted into the plane and. Because I guess they, the reason they're trying to do it now is because, one, it needs a new one anyway, and they know that in the future, like, I think it's by 2020, all aircraft have to have an ADS-B on it, so you can see other traffic. Yeah. So they're just figuring that they'll get it taken care of right now with that system. Yeah, you can kinda, taxi. Yeah, I'm already taxied over here. What I'm just gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, taxi up to the gate before yours, and I'll just park here and I'll shut it down so I can refuel and do my stuff. Okay, because I was gonna start taxiing in about a minute. All right. Yeah, I mean, anytime I don't need to warm up after I refuel, so it's all you.
refuel. That's a funny story. <laughs> what? What? I thought I burnt a lot more fuel than that doing that traffic pattern. I burnt like nothing. Well, I guess we'll just start it back up then. first and everything and then we can just kind of take off and the other airports off to the right if you just follow the right coast off to the east it'll take you straight to that other airport oh as soon as we depart zero two yeah just follow the coast off to the east and it'll take you straight to that other airport if you want the icao it's papa hotel hotel november i believe yeah papa hotel hotel november all right thanks um, I gotta fix my plane. <laughs> what did you do? I must have Push crashed it. I must have crashed it last time. I got all kinds of damage. started here get over the runway okay no. so did you like warm up and everything too and then realize that something was broke yeah I started to uh, push back and uh, I, I was looking at the outside of my aircraft and both my left and right flaps were tweaked out I go, okay <laughs> we got problems Yeah, he was on for a short time. Alright, 
I was gonna let you line up first, and I just kind of don't know what you're doing yet. I'm trimming it out, and then I'll be ready to go. I know. I'm getting like Brandon. Oh, no, you're fine. It takes me 45 minutes to get off the ground. Well, I'd rather you do it that way than be the guy who hits control E every time, you know? Yeah. So we're just gonna roll out and head east along the coast? That's what I was thinking. We just go ahead, take off, climb up to a thousand feet, and turn right. Yeah, I was gonna say low and slow and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna roll out and get off the ground. Alrighty, see you there. Got off the ground real fast. Oh yeah. But I guess that's the case when you have such a huge headwind, right? Yeah, this plane right up. Things I didn't think about Jeff is that this runway over here is um it runs east to west and the winds are coming straight out of the north. Well that'll be good. Yeah, at fifteen knots, so get ready to go ahead and get those rudder pedals moving. Yeah. This is, the, this is the one with uh the trees? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go above a thousand. You're not really a need to. No.
I thinking of? It's the guy who always came in here in the F-18, and he would, um, he'd always, like, try to be right on your wing and everything. I can't remember his name. Oh, jeez. Uh, J-Hook? Yeah, there we go. Cool yeah, guy. he was always right there, too. Oh, yeah, he'd be right on you. Yeah, Jeff, you know if you hit Shift-5, you pull up the map from A to A, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I navigate 90% of the time now. I don't even use the GPS if I'm just doing a short hop like this. Oh, you just use the map? Yeah. used to do this all the time. Yep. Yeah, you did a lot of the Cessna hops, right? Yeah, I liked them. Yep. I don't I don't really like the uh really like getting into all the jets and everything, you know? Like long and anything longer than like an hour is too much for me. Yeah. I like you know, like if I'm gonna set it and go and like leave it alone, I mean I can do over an hour, but if I'm like, you know, sitting here to make sure nothing happens, just an hour flight is way is right on the edge of being too long. Yeah. I've been liking the props lately anyway. Stuck in the Comanche again for two weeks now. Yeah. I had that, I had that installed, but I wanted something with a digital autopilot so I could set the altitudes I wanted to get to. So I re I put this back on my PC. I like the autopilot in this. You know, there's a guy on, um, there's a YouTube channel called Friendly Skies Aviation or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, the, um, I, I kind of like his videos. He does a real nice job. Real friendly guy, too, you know? Always reads his comments and always replies. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Like, and I've been a subscriber of him so, for so long that every time he sees me, it's kind of noticeable. He always yeah. kind of brings it up. In fact, one time he's like, man, you've been here for a while, haven't you? I was like, yeah, for a while. But um, anyway, they I think he was in a 182, and they did a trip from, like, Miami to the Bahamas to go, like, drop off relief supplies. Oh, and, yeah. And, like, I just, I don't know if I'd want to do 60 miles over open water in a single engine plane. Yeah, I know, I was thinking the same thing. It's like something a little bigger. I'd want a twin engine. Maybe even a seaplane. Yeah, that that would work. I would do it I would do a seaplane. Glide it into the water, you know. But man, sixty miles over open water. Yeah. Anything happens, you're kinda just done for really. Gotta ditch it no matter what you do once you're out there.
I don't know if I take a 182. So what happens with the winds? <laughs> yeah, get out over gusting, the... Gusting, gusting winds, you know? Yeah, get out over, the, like, in between the Miami and the Bahamas, like, 30 miles out, and all of a sudden you get hit by 25 mile an hour winds here. Wind yeah, gusting. Yeah, this plane doesn't like that. Yeah, in real life or on here, apparently. No, not on here either. I think I see a shimmer of an airport out there. Do you? Oh, yeah, on that point right there? Yeah, I see like way straight out the second point. Yeah. We may have to go ahead and fly around it. And, uh, unless you want to cut in a little bit. I don't have the chart up for what kind of runways it has. No, I didn't pull anything up either. I'll what see when I it? see when I get there. Pop uh, up hotel. hotel hotel in November. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a little untowered, uncontrolled airport uh, on the island of Oa. Oh, uh, the uh, what island is this exactly? It's not Oahu, is it? No. Island here? Yeah, is this Kahul? Because I thought the Ka city. Kahului, Maui. Oh, Maui, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, we just left Kahului. Yeah. Wait, Jeff, are you Tobias Avery? Yep. Oh, so that's you. Okay. Because I see both of you on my one o'clock. You're one o'clock, yeah, so behind us. What are you in? Uh, are you in a Lear or are you in something else? SR seventy one at like five percent power. SR seventy one. Yeah, I'm just cruising low and slow right now. All right, Jeff. Trimmed beautifully for three hundred knots. I'm breaking off to the right because I think I might be on top of you here. I took my. You're gonna go right. Well, I no, I just I lost you. I don't know exactly where you are. I hear you, but I don't see you. So I'm just I'm just kind of. Oh, moved. you're below me a little bit at my uh, at my four o'clock. All right, yeah, just keep flying on course. I'll catch up. I'll catch back up to you. I don't want to accidentally do anything. Yeah, I won't do any swoops down or anything. tried to look for him and when I was looking for him I guess I banked over to the left and I didn't know where you went. I'm just following, following the coast here. Well yeah I just I didn't know if I went over you, under you, or where exactly you were so I didn't want to hit you. That'd be a shame. Yeah.
Yeah, it looks like that. It's gonna be more of like a. Nah, I can't quite tell. Looks like it might be like a zero six zero seven kind of runway. Yeah, I still haven't. I haven't pulled up my charts. I feel stupid. I probably. I'm too afraid. lazy. I got it. Here, I'll go find out. Oh, I already got it. Air nav. Well, I was already at power, so. Just well check it out and I'll circle around. Coming up on your left. Okay. Yeah, that's runway 8 and runway 26. Okay, nice. Yep, elevation is 78 feet. Ooh, that's a short runway. This will be interesting. Oh, you're going to try and land there in the 71, huh? Yeah, with a stall speed of like 200 knots. Yeah. Yeah, get your parachute ready. No, oh, I have it set as my spoiler. Crap, no, I'm... Again. I don't know. Certainly doing like 1200 knots. If that was a real SR 71, you'd be leaking fuel all over the place this whole time. I'm down to about 10%. You can probably I took be... off from Papa. Go Hotel ahead. Awesome. Papa Hotel Oscar. Probably gonna run into some wind coming off this mountain. Yeah, I'm already getting it. I see you are too. Yep. That's a whole lot of trees down there, Jeff. Yep. Yeah. And we're bouncing around, moving from like 50 feet at a time, just getting shoved around. Yeah. I'm really getting bounced there. Yeah. I I would say close to 50 to 100 feet at a time. Are you going to circle around and try and come in from the uh, water edge? No, I'm going to try right over the trees here. Aren't we pretty high to do that? If I run out, here? then I'll, uh, I'll just touch and go. Yeah, I haven't applied any flaps yet. A couple seconds. I think I'm gonna do a 360 to the right here. Actually, now nah, I'm just gonna apply flaps and I'll drop it out of the sky here. Hey, li uh, lemon lime, I'm good, right? Or are you coming in here? Second. Am I am I good to go in ahead and uh, land over here, or are you doing something different? Yeah, I'm still trying to slow down. All right. I'm like 10 miles out right now. Yeah, speed was not an issue for getting down here now. I just gotta get it right on the treetops. I remember the- I'm pretty much gonna have to drop it out of the sky. Yeah, I would suggest you come in from the water, if I'm honest. A little bit less tree cover over there. <laughs> Jeff, you gonna make it? Oh, maybe. You might have to land up halfway up the runway, but you'll make it.
priority. I'm down. You just gonna turn around and fly back? What are you doing? Oh, there's not even yeah. a taxiway over here. Holy cow. Yeah. That's why I just went straight on the grass. I can see that. So we got an SR-71 coming in? Yep. Attempting to. Alright. Bring her in. I'm trying to come in from mountainside. I'll probably have to drop out of the sky to keep it slow enough. Alright, Jeff, so what do you think? He's gonna make it? No. What, are we taking bets on me now? Jeez. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> My money's on, uh, uh, off the other end of the runway. Sadly, I'll probably agree with you. Well, considering our Cessnas couldn't even slow down fast enough before we hit halfway up the runway, I very much doubt, but good luck, sir. <laughs> yep, go around. Boy, you almost hit the trees right next to us. Almost. I think I topped one of the trees on the approach. Yeah, about three quarters of the way down, I'm like, well, I'm going to just plant it and give it a shot. No, no. <laughs> what if you tried from the other direction and there's, you know... That's what I'm going to try to do. Yeah, that way you have the whole runway to try and... Slow down. Because I missed about half the runway just trying to clear that tree. Yeah, like even we did. In order to clear that tree, you got to miss a huge chunk of the runway. You know, the downside of this aircraft is I'm already about five miles out or so. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right.
Nope, too high. I just don't think this is going to happen. No, this is a tough airport, even in Skylines. So did he try yet? Yeah, I came in a little fast and high, so I had to go around again. Well, it looks like it's going to start getting dark I really dark don't think soon. this is going to happen. I'll give it one last shot. Alrighty. Maybe then you can just head over to Honolulu and land over there on their 10,000-foot yeah, runway. I think Honolulu might be long enough. Okay, I probably should not be climbing this fast. Jesus, you were 18,000 feet. Yeah, this thing climbs. And I was, I'm currently doing about 720. Are you telling me it does what it's supposed to do? Yeah, it's kind of what it's supposed to do. Oh no, it just froze. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> What's funny is that's probably... The of... Go ahead. Oh, I was pulling an inverted, an inverted turn, 180, and uh, it froze right as I was pointed at the water. <laughs> What's funny is that that and the A-10 are probably the last things our government did that worked out the way that they wanted it to. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, even the U-2 project was kind of a flop. I mean, it was good, but it just wasn't great. Well, Wait. and anything the U-2 can do, satellites can do just as well. Yep. Which makes me wonder, why do we still have the U-2 program, like, in the U.S.? It's still operating. Uh, to fly Mythbusters as high as possible? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what if the satellites are taken out? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, they should have kept the SR-71. A U-2 can't outrun a missile. There are still S-71s. I thought they retired all of them. I thought they did too. Yeah, but they're still operational. The U-2 program, though, I mean, really the objective is more so just to fly as high as possible. Just to say we did, yeah. Pretty much. It's an ego fest, isn't that what most militaries are nowadays? Yeah, pretty yep. much. I agree. I'm probably going to take out this tree. Are you coming in from the water? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I took out the tree. <laughs> All right, Jeff, what do you say we fire up and start heading back? Yep, we're going back. What are you going back to the airport? Uh, well, we could either do that or we could do something else. Well, I was going to continue flying along the coast here for a while. Until I get tired of it and then stop. Well, shoot, we can fly around the other half of the island and come back in on zero two. You mean go back to Halloween and then go from there?
Well, yeah, I just, no, I mean, like, we can go ahead and just fly the, fly right side of the, of the coast and go all the way around the edge and come back in on zero two. You know what I mean? Go out and around the mountain up towards camps and come back in on zero two. Okay. I'll follow you this time. Okay, engine's nice and warm, so I just give it a little shot of of fuel, not much, you know. On a prime? Yeah, just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, one shot is good enough. Yep. All right, well, I tried to spawn at GA parking small, but uh, I don't think I fit because it kicked me into the air. Yeah. Jeff, you behind me you're already? Up, you're up there somewhere. No, not yet. Alrighty. Yeah, I just paused it. I think I'm right above here for a while. I'm just inland of the airport. Looks like probably about a thousand. Paused. Just let me know when you're ready, Jeff. Yeah, you can roll. Go ahead. Okay, rolling. Circling up on your left, far. Okay. Oh, or sorry, Steve. I think that was your right. Steve, somehow I, I got underneath, underneath you. you. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm. While well, I'm sitting up pretty high, I'm more at like uh, 1,500 because I was trying to come up over these trees a little higher. Yeah, I have you in sight. That's probably where I'm going to sit, is I'm probably going to come up here to 1,500. Alright. Unless you want to, unless you want to go down to 1,000 and just run the outer edge of the coast. Yeah, if I see something, I'll go. Yeah, this is good for now. I'm trying to go as slow as I can without stalling this thing. I'm under you, um, Jeff. Okay. Way low. I'm slowing back down, Jeff, to about 90 to 80 knots. 
I didn't realize I was going that fast. I'm sorry. Sorry. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Alright, that's too low for comfort. I'm climbing again. a little bit more again here to probably close to uh to zero. Got it. I'm going to be running probably around 85, 86 knots is right where I am. And I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Nice. So, Jeff, have you tried doing an ILS in here? Where? This plane. No. No, you have? Uh, I remember trying it at one point. Yeah, how did it go? Uh, I ended up not using the approach setting, I just went ahead and used the uh, glide slope indicator, the VOR indicator. You know what I mean? Like the nav indicator. Just oh, kinda, yeah, I just kind of flew it in that way because I couldn't figure it out at first. <clears throat> but the way I see it right now is I'm going to go ahead and get the radio for this airport and see what happens. Three thousand five hundred on your looks like two o'clock high. I'm trying to figure out where the balance is for slow flight on this because it has no flaps. Just the power pitch balance. What's the stall on that? What's up? What's the stall speed? It's about one ninety.
supposedly. I've gotten it down to about 180. I'm gonna try. If you see me plummet from the sky, don't be alarmed. I will respawn. Okay, so I currently, I have the localizer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it set up so the GPS will take me onto vectors for the ILS. Or I'll, actually, I'll, I'll just wait till I get out to the point where I have the GPS take me straight in. And then it's heading and approach, right, Jeff? You just hit the approach uh, switch. I oh, what's that? If I have the heading, if I have my heading bug set up towards the runway, and I have the approach fix, like the nav fix for the ILS, I can just hit approach, right? And then it will take over whenever it does its thing, or whatever. Yeah, if you switch over to nav, and hit APP. Yeah. Alright, I'll try it out this time. Yeah, I never tried it with this one. <clears throat> well, I have that. I have the uh, Omni Omni bearing, the OBS. I have that set to the runway heading. Is that the way? I, I, that's how I want it to be, correct? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you mean swing your needle over to uh, the course? Yeah, I have the course set up for 2-4, which is the magnetic. I don't know if that transfers over in this or not. Yeah, this this plane has a full instrument landing system in it? I believe it does. Oh. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I have to mess with it. I just hand fly it. It's got the Bendix King KAP for 140, so I don't know. But I just know yeah, it's got it. the it's got the approach switch on it and everything, so I just figured why not try it, you know. Just for giggles, I'm gonna squawk 7500. What? What are you doing? I'm squawking 7500 just for giggles. Oh. <laughs> well, you do have a military aircraft out here, so. Yeah, it's not like they're going to be able to escort me. They're not even able to fly slower than 100 knots. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to have to, like, make multiple passes. Make multiple passes past me or just circle above me. Yeah, pay no attention to the blackbird off your nose. I don't see anything yet. Because I'm already at 4,000, 6,000, 9,000. So you're above my glare shield. 4,000, 5,000. Six zero. And basically space shuttle status right now. Alright. Well, hello. Sup? What's up, Jeff? What's up? Sup, Sup? Oh, we're just flying on bad so. Nice. Where are you flying? Uh, I flew from um, Toronto to Boston. No. Yeah, it was a nice flight. 
full coverage. We had departure, and we had well, we had ground departure and Boston Center. Who was doing Boston, uh, Ben? Uh, let me check. Something like that. I saw his name is Ben. Let me see. Let me double ben, check for ben Dudley. Uh, we have two right now. We have Evan and we have Chris. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, uh, Ben's not there. Uh, oh, it's Chris doing it. Because Evan is like a supervisor. Even Evan. Something like that. That was a nice flight. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, it's a nice little hop over there. Yeah, but it was like a tail strike at the end. <laughs> you, oh, your tail strike? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the glide path, I was coming at 121 knots. I was somewhere around there. And then when I got close like to like 30 feet above the ground, I brought the throttle back, and I, I basically pitched it up too much. Like a tail strike on that. What kind of plan? IPM 737 NGX. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to fly the PM 777, but it was too much for this flight. <laughs> do you even? Uh, do you ever? Have you ever flown on a uh, bad sim, uh, Jeff? Oh yeah, I did it one time. You didn't like it? That's yeah, alright. I like it better. Yeah. These Boston guys are pretty good. Yeah, Ben. If you ever come across Ben, he's really good. Yeah. He used to fly on here quite a bit. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. He was a trainer here. Uh oh. There's that SR-71 across our screen. You see oh, that? Look, see? There he goes, yep. There he goes. Don't mind me, I'm avoiding you guys. I see <laughs> you guys long before you see me. Yeah, and you'll be long gone before we get there. Yeah, I'm already back up to one nine or thousand. Yeah. I got all the way up to one hundred and fifteen thousand on that last one. I feel bad for my pilot's ears. <laughs> They're in a pressure suit, so it doesn't really affect them. Oh, I'm sure they still pop. Well, I mean, like, you gotta think, though, it, it's... I don't know, I don't think it does. I don't think the pressure suit is meant for 115,000, though. No, it's meant for like six zero thousand. Like maybe, maybe eighty thousand maximum. There's reports of these things going up to a hundred. I'm not really into uh, military stuff. I'm just saying it's from. You know, guess. I'm not either, but I really like that Star Seventy One and the B Two. Alright, Jeff, I don't know exactly what you're going to do, but I'm going to give myself a little bit more speed so I can get out. i got to go way out to this point so I can start my ILS approach. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you can follow the coastline, and we'll, we'll probably get there about the same time, considering I'm going to go faster out to this other point. Alright. What would you say? You're going out to camps? I gotta go out about that far. I'm not gonna go quite that far, though. I'll be yeah. 
I don't think I'm gonna go all the way to camp, so I think I'll just cut in. Yeah, like I said, you can just go ahead and cut in. That's kind of what I expected. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and come out here so I can pick up the ILS. Don't worry about me, I'm about 500 feet. Okay. <laughs> I see you over there. He's coming around the mountain, Jeff, at about 700. Yes. Oh boy, here he is. And zoom, Where there he goes. Oh no, oh, no. 1,500 knots. No big deal. I'm gonna go check out this island over here. I forget which one it is, so I'm gonna go look. That must be nice. Huh, I don't remember what island this is. I'm just gonna fly over here. <laughs> I'll be right back in like five minutes, if not less. I, I do this sometimes when we do group flights. I'm just cruising along with them if they're in DRJs. What really heading is that? Oh, let me go check. My thing's yelling at me, don't sink, I'm flying over the water at like 300 feet. Scratch that, like 50 feet. Wow, Maddie. Oh, disregard. I was listening to a different channel. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go mute them. Somebody's in an, is over at the airport right now. Oh yeah. Which yeah. airport? Yeah. Uh Kahului. Maui? Huh, let me go look. Hey Jeff, Ace is on. Yeah, his plane is flying. Yeah, I just realized that. He did that this afternoon. I think he's at his mother's, or I think his father is out of town and get on business. What's the Carl Louis? I've already got the glide slope. On your six high. Actually, it's like your seven. I got you, so. Man, if I'm a seven, I'm just moving up in the world, aren't I? I have you inside, I'm upside down. I'm gonna go see what he's flying. No, it tells that's boring. It tells me what he's flying.
you know, when uh, when FSX does its substitutions, I wish it would also check to see if it's a tail dragger or not. Because <laughs> it always gets, it always breaks your immersion when you just see uh, a nose wheel plane dragging its tail across the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Like a 737 replacing a DC-3? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, here's the best one. When it substitutes a helicopter with a submarine. Never had that happen yet. No, I've had that one. I've had the aircraft carrier getting substituted, you know? Like, uh, seven, uh, I think it's the 777 got substituted for the um, aircraft carrier. And I was able to land on it while he was flying around and was right around. <laughs> That's funny. He was like, what are you That's doing? I'm like, I'm going to land on you. <laughs> I have a screenshot. I was a carrier one day, just out there in the middle of nowhere. And um, Ralph Saul came out and found me in a helicopter. I think it was a Chinook. But he showed up as a helicopter. And he landed in the hangar bay. So I had this submarine sticking halfway out the side of the ship. <laughs> ah, I overstressed it. No, oh, I'll just spawn in and fly over to you. It becomes really easy to overstress things at that speed. You know what disappoints me? Flight Simulator didn't put lava flows on the big island. Yeah, I know. I wish they had. Yeah, when he said, or when he was making a joke about, oh, let me go check the island. I remember I did that because I was like, oh, hey, hold on, guys. I'm going to go see if there's lava flows over here. And there's not, and it's really disappointing. It's just rock. I wonder if there's scenery for that. Yeah, I don't know. I never looked for it. I see you over there, Steve. Don't worry. Now this airport I know I can land at. I've done this one before. Alright Jeff, I'm trying to see if I can get this thing, the nav in this to work correctly. I have it set up on approach. I think it just caught it. It's pulling me on course here. Oh nice. Worked pretty easily actually. I just came kind of almost perpendicular to it and uh, hit the approach switch as I was, uh, I was on heading. 
on the heading bug going flying perpendicular to the uh, to the ILS, and I just it caught it right away. It's doing pretty good actually. How far out are you? Uh, I'm two miles from my next point, probably nine or so from the actual runway. Yeah. Hey, I found an airport on this tiny little island out here. I think it's Lanai. Yeah, LNY. Yep. You know, Jeff, someday we gotta fly out to that island. I've never flown out there. I want to I want to get every airport on the islands cuz we've only flown to like the major ones. Yeah. I know. Man, this thing is spot on. It's already got the glide slope too. It's just waiting for it to catch it, so it has to bring me down farther. It's working pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised. So far, it's just like a leer. Personally, I can't stand the leer. Well, I'm talking about the ILS configuration, the way that you have to run through the through it, you know, to get it oh, to pick okay. everything up. Pick everything. Oh, okay. Ooh, Lana is a short runway. Let's see if I can pull this off here with no trees. Yeah, I'm six out from the runway, Jeff. No, oh, so am I. <laughs> good. You, I'll, you, go, I'll go behind you. Oh no, I'm sure you're gonna be faster. Nah. I'm I'll only. Just... I'm gonna be going at like uh, 70 knots. I don't want to be going that fast with the ILS system. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little uh, smokestack approach here. Well, so am I. I'm. I'm on it. <laughs> well. Ooh, if I stop, I'll be right on top of the threshold here. Well, I'm about 30 yards from the numbers on the far end. But you made it? Yeah, I made it on Lanai. Barely. I just took a screenshot. I'm probably about a hundred yards from the end of the runway. And here's the moment of truth. If the, yep, there it goes. Caught the glide slope. It's bringing itself in. Wow. It's working flawlessly, honestly. I'm pretty surprised. I'm really surprised with how well this is working. It's right on, huh? Yeah, perfect. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flaps down landing speed is 60 to 70 knots. I'm going to go ahead and put 20 degrees of flaps and come in here at 70. 
to see if it can take it all the way to the ground. There's a lot more houses and detail of roads and stuff out here when your graphics are turned all the way up. Yeah, huh? Makes a difference. Quite a bit. A lot more houses. Oh, Jeff, you really overflew me, huh? Yeah, I'll go like midfield or something. You have plenty of time. Alright, I'm inbound, but I'm around that mountain. So do you think it'll, like, land itself, like, flare and do everything, or do you think I should cut it off, right, like, a couple hundred feet off the ground? Yeah, I'm not sure with that one. You'll see when you get close to the ground where the artificial horizon is, I guess. I mean, either way, if I had to, like, come in on an ILS or something at night, this thing, if it picked it up and everything worked right, man, this is just awesome. Yeah, I think at um I think at two hundred feet I may go ahead and take control of it. Yeah, I'm on the ground, I'll be out of your way here. Oh you you're you're just fine. Scratch that I'm taking control now thanks to that little bit of a wind push and didn't like that at all. At all. It got hit by that wing gust from the side and it just flipped out. Yeah, 19 knots of it. Oh joy, and I'm a flying wing. <laughs> Alright, turning on a 15 mile final. Jeff, I'm going to go over here to the uh, GA parking and park over here. Yeah. You like the other side of the airport, though. The GA parking is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. That's why I like it. But I am probably just going to go over here and park in the cargo area. I'm not going to go all the way down to the actual GA. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, nothing like a 300 knot approach. Uh, this will be bumpy.
<coughs> Whoosh. All right, nine mile final. Were you coming on zero two? Uh, yeah. Tempting to come in on. We'll see if I actually can plant this again. I usually end up by the other end of the runway. I thought that thing deploys a chute. It does, but it still has almost no drag on the entire aircraft, so. Alright, Jeff, I gotta get up later. So, I'm in mean earlier, so I gotta get going here. Yeah, I just put my plan away. User I'm getting off. Channel. I'm oh. getting off this thing, too. See ya. See ya. User left.